utilities are faced with high volatility both on the supply and on the demand side. The ability to store power effectively is critical to enable volatile generation types like wind or like solar to become a fully flexible part of the energy mix and to provide base load. But power storage is also required to counter volatility in demand, thus decreasing peak capacity requirements. With me today is Jan Trenkner to talk about battery technology in particular. Good afternoon, Jan. Hello. Jan, your expertise in battery technology is based on your technology background and your 20 years consulting experience. As Bain's senior technology advisor, you have been working on the topic of electromobility over the last three years. Jan, when do you expect battery technology to be used efficiently for utilities? Using batteries for large-scale power storage could be potentially a disruptive technology, but nowadays too expensive for grid application. That means that the um, battery technology will be a topic for utilities rather in the next decade than in this one. A large driver for battery development is the increasing demand for electric vehicles that rely on cost-effective and efficient batteries. Mm -hmm. Lithium-ion batteries are the hope for the upcoming electrification of the automotive powertrain and the option to drive with energy from the grid, independent from burning oil and totally tailpipe emission-free. In your opinion, Jan, why will electric cars prevail in future? Four forces are on the way. First, there is the legislative push. Development economies in the triad markets face a short-term challenge to bring down CO2 targets. For example, Europe is committed to CO2 levels of 130 gram per kilometer by 2015, and that's not so far away. Second, oil will become more expensive and rare. Triad economies are already strongly dependent on foreign oil imports. For example, 70% of the oil imports are burned in the gas-guzzling US passenger car fleet. Third, increasingly consumer demand change. Green is trendy, but not just in high-end consumers. There's a structural change in demand underway. Increased questioning of cars with high fuel consumption and CO2 emissions. Fourth, new technologies are paving the way for electric vehicle adoption. The game changer will be the lithium-ion battery technology, the key enabler for everyday usability of electric vehicles. But aren't lithium-ion batteries still in its infancy? Yes, even though lithium-ion batteries for vehicles are still at the beginning, they are ready for market launch now. However, high cost of $500 per kilowatt hour on the pack level due to small-scale production still limit mass market penetration. Nevertheless, Berthold, traction batteries will significantly gain share and will reach massive scale until 2050. Hence, significant cost reductions through mass production is possible and will lead to costs of less than $250 per kilowatt hour in 2020. In the moment, the automotive industry is on its way to invest in large-scale battery production sites. For example, around Detroit, we will see about $4 billion invests within the next two to three years. Driven by this investment, we believe that 2020, automotive batteries will be a commodity. Mm -hmm. But that has huge implications as we move from combustion-powered cars to electric vehicles. Yes. Does that mean that all vehicles will be electric in future? This changeover will take a lot of time. We believe that in 10 years from now, almost 90% of the cars will still have a combustion engine on board. The question is not how fast we get rid of the combustion engine. In fact, the industry is looking for a solution that most of the daily miles driven by a customer could be done with electricity from the grid. Mm -hmm. Electrification of the automotive powertrain will come on a lot of applications like hybrids, range extenders, pure electric cars. By principle, Electric cars are very, very efficient with energy. Almost 80% is transformed into propulsion. Gasoline cars use only 20 to 30% of the energy in the tank. You know, Berthold, with the electric energy, which can be stored in a modern lithium-ion battery, a customer can drive between 100 to 150 kilometers per charge and per day. This is by far enough for 80% of typical usage of an average American household, for example. 70% of the Europeans drive less than 40 kilometers Per day. Also for those cars, electricity is the perfect power to propel. Use it during the day and charge it overnight. But on the other hand, customers want also total flexibility. For those customers, you will see solutions like range extender or plug-in hybrids. The customers will have the choice about the size of the battery on the board, because this will determine the daily range and the overall usage of gasoline during the life cycle of the car. This is our opinion that this decade will be more a decade for the automotive industry and the next decade will be the application of the battery in the grid. Thank you very much, Jan.